Najwa. Hi, sir. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually surprised. In fact, you um, took the intro from me. <laughs> exactly. I can see you are overwhelmed with what you're saying already. <laughs> Please, you have the floor. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know you can see what's going on. If you've been on the channel watching every single video, you know this property. I've been saying it all over, uh, over and over and over it from time. We started right from A on this property, from excavation to setting out. All of those videos are on the channel. So if you haven't seen it, if this is the first time you're seeing this particular property, please have some popcorn, binge watch all those videos and catch up to us at this level. So today I, I, I hear this is the ground floor stage. And of course we have engineer Desmond to speak on the property for us. Me personally, when we started this property, I thought it was so small because I was seeing some small demarcations. But now that we're here, I saw the living area I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's huge, sir. Okay. So we can now be able to do a walkthrough for people to know exactly yeah. what we have here. Mm -hmm. Now this is the entrance um, to the apartment. Okay. The only part, point is that because the land slopes a little bit, mm -hmm. we we have a huge fall over here. Okay. The steps are going to be quite more than what the design was actually given us. Okay. And we had to raise it up a bit. Okay, wonderful. So this is the entrance into the main, this is the hall. Wow. Huge. It's huge. Magnificent. In fact, the client at the point was telling me, this one, my room looks too small, it's too small. <laughs> and I told him, let me finish. Now, when I finished casting the oversized concrete, yeah. He said, my building looks like a football pitch. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, this is, this is, this is big. So this is the hall. <clears throat> Let's go. Wow. Um, we are now seeing, because it's raining today, mm -hmm. I have to suspend the workers because it's, it's, it's disturbing us for us to not to be, we, we, we want to have the blocks well laid. Yeah. These are things that are very important to mm -hmm. us. So we had to suspend them. Okay. They were working. You can see mortar and everything around, but yes. I have to suspend them yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Now. This particular area leads us into the kitchen. So this is the area for Madame. Okay. We made the hall so huge that at this space over here, we can be able to have the dining over here. So okay. have the hall okay. and the dining the as dining. well. The dining, that's nice. And this is the kitchen area. It's nice, it's spacious. Now, we have a storage okay. for the kitchen. Oh, that's it right here. Right here. Okay. So you can install all your Yam, your momoni, the kako, everything can be stored. Everything, here. wonderful. <laughs> now, when you want to also wash, we have here a laundry room. Nice. And the laundry room, we're going to have washing machines, and dryers, dryers. Uh, ironing mm -hmm. tables, whatever. This is a whole place Divided for that for activity. That. Okay, that's lovely. When Madame cooks and Madame is tired, she wants yeah. to have fresh air. Uh -huh. We have an open space here for Madame to have all this balcony here nice. to use. That's really, really, really wonderful. Then you have the, the, studio. the studio. Okay. We are going to start a demarcation very shortly. So nice. you're going to see it. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Now, I'm imagining this is my home. Mm -hmm. Adra, you are invited. Thank you. Can I have a glass of wine? Uh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so please wash your feet. I told you we're, we're working, so we have to okay. suspend. There we go. This is the entrance to the visitor's bedroom. Okay. Huge space. Spaces, I told you, are well managed. Yeah. Then you walk through here, you have the visitor's washroom. washroom. Nice. Over here. Okay. Now, there are two things in, we have visitors and guests. Okay. So okay. visitors normally difference? sleep over. Okay. Guests come and they have to go. They leave, okay. So if a guest comes into the house, the guest wants to use your washroom, this is the washroom for guests. For the guests. Okay. A nice little corner. Exactly, for yourself. Nice, okay. Now, you see this huge, we call this the stairwell. The this stairwell. is where we're going to create a whole stair area to the top. To the top, okay, okay, okay. And I think we mentioned to the audience that this is going to be a ground floor, top floor with a pent. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yes. Ah, so, so the, the stairs stair will be spiraling from here. Again, to because we have so much space, we have another storage. Okay. Right here. Right here. The client can, in future, turn this into his own home office, apart from the studio. Yes. yes so there's yes, another yes, space yes, yes. created. So there's enough space. For everything. And you realize that 
the only corridor we have is this just a small space. Yeah. Every other space is, is utilized. Well used. Wonderful. So you don't have empty space for no reason. Absolutely. Ah. So here wow. we are. I see some pipes in here. Yes. That's the plumbing work. So these are plumbing works. Okay. So some of these pipes are supposed to be connected from the top. I will okay. explain as we continue. Progress, okay. But what we have is most of some of this pipe, like this one, is supposed mm -hmm. to be for the wash hand basin. Okay. This is supposed to carry the, the, the WC. Okay. This is also supposed to carry the WC. Okay. Uh, wash hand basin. This is for bath. Okay. So when you bath, the water is supposed to go through here. Through. Okay. So all those things have been implanted already. When you get to the this place where mm -hmm. we have the laundry, yeah, you can see another one there. So yes. it's able to carry the water outside. Okay. When it comes to the kitchen as well, we have another space here again to be able to carry water. Mm -hmm. Some of these pipes again are supposed to carry water from the roof. From, okay. Okay. Down okay. onto the earth. Okay. So this is these are a few things that we have done. Uh, wow. we, we actually wanted to, to surprise you guys at the time you get here because this work actually started just yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Just yesterday. What? So we wanted the, the, the team to get here at the time when we are at windowsill level. But unfortunately, the rains came this morning yes, and told yes, us yes, you yes, can't yes. go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we started. I'm still very impressed. This Thank is you. impressive. Thank you. And guys, I know it's raining, but the weather is amazing. That's one thing that we keep telling our audience. The weather here at our sites mind-blowing and even though it's raining and it's gloomy you can still see the mountains and the view is so clear so imagine this building is done you're upstairs with just like you know a chilled glass you're just sitting there life is so comfortable so peaceful and that's what we're selling i love this thank you i need some <laughs> <laughs> now let me just say one more thing before perhaps you go okay look at the spice yeah I wish the camera can come you can see the thickness of the pipe. It's really thick. Now, there's a reason why we are using, we have types of pipes. I'll okay. be talking about them. We have the class O, the class B. Uh, I want to, you to understand these pipes are going to be buried in the concrete. So that is, that there's a reason why we place it close to the pillar. Yeah. All this will be concreted. Okay. Now, because these things are going to be buried, it's supposed to last a minimum of 75 years. Oh, that's long. Okay. It's durable like that? Yes. Okay. So you have to use the best, the best plumbing pipes. True. Do not compromise. Mm -hmm. Don't let your plumber tell you, oh, this is nothing. Use the highest quality. In cases where they don't use the high quality, what risks are they looking at? The risks are, are so many. Now, don't forget that this is going to be buried in a concrete. Yeah. Now, if it is not that thick, if I try, you see, I'm trying to... Uh, compress it. Com it's not. not it's yeah. not working. Now, when the concrete material comes, because mm -hmm. it comes with some force, yeah. it's not able to compress it. Mm -hmm. But the loose ones, it will be able to compress it. Right. So you are not able to get the circumference that you are getting mm -hmm. for the pipes. Yeah. That is number one. Number two, these pipes are supposed to be buried in the concrete. Mm -hmm. There's going to be chemical reaction True. between the concrete and the pipes. True. And with time or over time, you're going to have issues. Yeah. Again, some of these pipes are going to be carrying foreign materials mm -hmm. sometimes somebody may drop uh, a paper yeah. a tissue yeah. something in there mm -hmm. so when it is compressed it means that the the space it is a four inch pipe mm -hmm. the space that you need in the four inch you will not be it. reduced exactly and again what happens is that once it is compressed you start having cracks on the pipe wow. that is why sometimes you see the tiling and everything is done mm -hmm. and sometimes you see water uh, drawing yeah. a certain part of the building yeah. It's only because somebody somewhere decided to use an inferior material yeah. just to save some seeds. I see. Or some coins. Yeah. And we ensure that we use, I, I believe the, quality, the, the camera can come here, mm -hmm. check the thickness. And we do that all the time, the thickness. It's very wow. important. Yeah. Same with this one as okay. well. All the pipes, if you use any inferior material, mm -hmm. you are fine. <laughs> I see. At Royal Kingdom Estates, we are sure nothing but the quality and the best. That's what you're seeing here. This is pure evidence. That's why it's always good to go in with the aspects to make sure that your building can last as long as it's supposed to last. That's amazing. Thank you. 
wow i'm very i'm very very impressed today i think everybody behind the camera is so impressed i can see the demarcations properly and um when we come back here i think we'll see the updates and the progress that will go absolutely on. next time i'll be showing you what we do in terms of what we need to be able to take the square yeah plumb the walls well mm -hmm. make sure our walls are straight mm -hmm. make sure the kind of the angles are all in tune yes so that you're able to have because if you don't do it now mm -hmm at the stage of tiling it's going to expose you right and so these are all things that you're supposed to do at the very beginning and yeah. these are things that we'll be talking about as we progress hmm. thank you very much for having me here today. <laughs> <laughs> today he's doing everything thank you guys we'll be back with more updates <laughs>